Pat, you've had a few hours to process what you've achieved. Has it sunk in even further? Uh, yeah, I just keep every half an hour or so you kind of remember that we just won the World Cup and get excited all over again. So we're still buzzing. It's been an awesome couple of days and yeah, I think we'll be smiling for a fair while. Paddy, I know, you know it's always a good but for you personally, you know, the Ashes this year, um, you know, to, to kind of get the team to kind of turn it, you know, you've been around for a couple of games in, performance in the final has been one of the greatest captains in performances, you know, for the last 50 years. How proud are you of what you've achieved as captain? Yeah, really proud. It's been a big year. Um, I feel like we've spent more time, well, we've spent about six months on the road, basically, and, um, yeah, to top it off with this, it's been amazing. And, um, yeah, I guess as captain, there's always things you do that sometimes don't pay off, and sometimes they do pay off, and, yeah, I was pretty pretty pumped to, uh, obviously, win the other day. But, um, yeah, career highlight, captaincy aside, just as a player, playing with these boys, um, doesn't get any better than that. When you left Pat and well, the start of the year, you had four big assignments lined up one after the other. You come back with three out of four pieces of silverware. Do you feel you've created that legacy for this team, or this team has created themselves a legacy? Yeah, I think they have created their own legacy. I mean, a World Cup, you only get one chance every four years, um, and you know, especially playing somewhere like India, it's it's hard. So to be pitted up against the rest of the world and come away with the medal, um, that's you know, that's doesn't get any better than that and then adding to that in a way Ashes series a world test championship um, yeah we couldn't have planned for much better so pretty satisfied group Josh especially uh, yeah to be honest like a, it almost became a sudden death really um, you know we, we thought we'd pretty much had to be flawless from there on in to just to make the semis and we pretty much were um, we started to find ways to win um, even when we weren't having our best day, uh, but yeah, you know, even before the tournament, we knew uh, playing ODI cricket in India, it's, it's a pretty tough assignment. So just to make the semis, we were, we were pretty pumped, and then obviously keen to go a bit further. After that first loss, Manus said, "This I remember it was quite prophetic." He said, "This is just, this is not the end. This is just the beginning." And did you guys actually believe that the whole way through? We never listen to Manus as a rule. Uh, I mean, there's so many great quotes, I think, throughout the tournament. You know, even when Mitchie Marsh had to go home, um, he said, you know, I'll be back to win that cup in a couple of weeks. There's lots of those little moments that you look back on now that we've won and you think, wow, you know, everything came together. But, you know, the belief never left, even at the start. We knew we hadn't played our best, but um, we kind of knew once we clicked, we could take on anyone and proved to be the case. Josh, Josh just how well did he captain in the final? And what went through your mind when he said, well, we'll have a bowl for us. <laughs> uh, we make him look pretty good, don't we? Uh, a lot of the time. Um, no, I think it was definitely the right decision. I think, um, you know, I think the wicket was obviously quite dry. Um, not much grass. We thought the dew was going to come into play later in the night. So all those things sort of went to, went to plan. Probably not the first five, six overs, but um, we knew they were going to come out hard and that was probably going to be the easiest time to bat as well for them. So um, just stuck to our guns and um, yeah, everything went well. Josh, considering you didn't get a chance to be part of that 2019 squad, how special was it coming back to this team and winning it this year? Two from two. Yeah, I think, as you said, World Cups are every four years. It's pretty special. Um, again, like the last few months seem to go pretty quickly. It's a bit of a blur as well. Um, we put ourselves in a, a tough situation there early and then I think it brought the best down and us, pushed us into a corner and um, away we went. So. Yeah, it, it's a pretty satisfying win. We've seen Davey come out and say he wants to go on for one more. We, we've seen both <laughs> of you guys go around for another four years. Uh, where's the next one? I'm not sure. So, <laughs> the next World Cup. South Africa. That might suit us, yeah. Depends where we're playing. Couple of four years. Four, four years <laughs> a long time, so we'll see. How'd Hedy pull up? I wondered. He's been delivering on Instagram for us for a couple of days. He hasn't pulled up I yet. think it's far too early, so... <laughs> Josh, you... Look forward to seeing him play tomorrow in the team. <laughs> Josh, have you been told that the three quicks would play such a key role in winning a World Cup in India in like the semi-final or final? Could you have seen it playing out that way? Uh, not probably exactly how it played out. Um, I think we got a little bit lucky with Calcutta. The conditions got um, put in the bowl and the nice we get to bowl on. But I think we knew we were going to play a part. Um, how big a role that was going to be was sort of determined by every conditions was sort of different every game. So um, obviously Zam's played his part to perfection um, and Maxi and Hedy and Marshy chipping in, Stoney. So um, we just do our roles and we, we know what we're doing out there. So just stick to it. 
Have you ever heard anything like when Pat got Rivet out? The sound silence? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't quite hear anything, really. <laughs> 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 Last one, guys. Paddy, I, I guess this is you have been looking at the sidelines of the Tour of India and actually in the World Cup too. Like, I know you always want to you know, do well here at Pine over the summer, but like, what's the next? Uh, honestly, I have not thought any further than this, so we'll savour this for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm sure the stories will keep rolling on for a while, and home summer is always huge, so we've got a couple of weeks to, to regroup and we'll get together in Perth. It's, I think it's, yeah, the majority of the ODI teams the same as the test team, so it'll be good to go and see everyone again in a couple of weeks, but um, yeah, we'll keep savouring this for a little while, I reckon. With the summer of tennis right around the corner, Wide World of Sports has every angle covered. From match highlights, press conferences and every breaking news story, Wide World of Sports is your home of tennis. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this summer.